Well, I'm joined now by two of the women who are taking part in Thursday's show, Helen Lederer and Megan McKenna, who look slightly anxious. <laughs> <laughs> and why? We are, just, just a little just bit. Just a little bit, I'm not surprised. Little bit, little bit. We were just saying um, we woke up quite early this morning. Okay. And that Anxiety. feeling yes. of just there's no escape. No, you've, you've signed up for it now and there it is. Brilliant cause, fantastic thing to do. Why is it so important to you, Helen, that you wanted to take part in this? For me personally, uh, well, you, uh, you don't say no to Colleen because that's the end, isn't it? Um, <laughs> uh, but mostly, uh, my aunt died of a cancer a long time ago right. uh, when the treatment wasn't as it is now. And so I was had that association. Sure. Two people in Calendar Girls I was in had cancer, recovered. So it's about recovery, isn't it? We're yeah, sort of focusing of on recovery. Absolutely. Yeah. And spotting um, the signs early and just being a bit more in touch with your body. And being a yeah. aware. I, I, yeah. Indeed, absolutely. That's the point, and then we have to dance. How are you feeling about it? Because, you know, there is this thing, you have to be, I don't know about so much confident about your body, but just accepting of your body. Yeah. <laughs> Very challenging. It's it, ha it has been a challenge. I mean... But for you, you're gorgeous. I mean, I know, I'm not... You're gorgeous too. I, no, I, can, <laughs> I have to say I can take that on the swiftly. chin. <laughs> I tell her she's gorgeous, but what's interesting is that you're as anxious as the less overtly gorgeous in the group. It's, it's hard, like, actually, you know, standing and having to get your boobies out. Mm. Indeed. I'm not the most confident girl. Even when I'm around my friends, you know, I'm not really one of them girls that just wax them out. Um, I've always been a bit more, Why like, closing. Why would you wax them out? I don't Why know. Why anybody wax them I mean, out? you know, when you're with your friends and you're getting changed, I don't know, I've never really oh, no, been good. that person to right. be like no. that. So this is definitely a challenge for me. And we've uh, we was, we've had a practice run and uh, neither Megan or myself actually did it. So mm. It was a very small group of people, so you right. could actually see them up your nostril. Or no, rather they could <laughs> see up your nostril. And that's more challenging. Apparently yeah. we're going to have, like, 2,000 people. I don't which is yeah. the things that has to be done. There's no escape, and just thinking about it is not helpful. So mm -hmm. I just pretend. Got to be brave this year. This is the year of bravery, and just do it because it helps. No, it does. Or, yeah. But it may not be aesthetically the best thing in the world, but. So be it. No, I think it's a great, I think it's a brilliant thing to do. Why not? Why not? You know, it just, it breaks down loads of barriers. Would you it really do it, Lorraine? Down. Could we you just come on the day and bits. just kind of <laughs> I don't know scoot if on, want to scoot on stage <laughs> for the I last I salute bit. you. I really, really do. I honestly don't know that I could do it. It's, I really it's don't. so nerve-wracking. It's the sisterhood. You've got other girls with you there. Yeah. And when you're, uh, there's something about doing something like that on your own that is absolutely terrifying. <gasps> but if everybody else is doing it with you. Yeah, on your own it becomes not quite so scary. Impossible on our own, uh, um, yes. on your own. Could yeah. you do it on your own? No, no. I couldn't. I mean, every, when we've, like, some of us have had down moments, we've all kind mm. of come together as like, we're all like a family and it's so lovely. And obviously working with everybody has been so lovely. Helen's lovely. I am, She's great. I try, she and, I try and be lovely and then I, I sulk. <laughs> I have my little moments of snacking <laughs> and try not to talk to people and then come back and, because oh. it is the worst fear. It's like, yeah. um, as a stand-up comedian, my big biggest fear yeah. was being naked in front of my parents. Well, it's your bad dream, isn't it? It's it is, bad dream. It is that the morning, yeah. exposure. <laughs> then you go, you know what, we are actually conquering our fears, won't we it's be? Great. It's great. I think it's a great thing to do. And you know, you deal all the time yeah. with people with negative publicity, mm -hmm. with trolls that, yeah. that are horrible. I mean, there was, you posted a photo and you looked amazing in it. I think you were in Barbados or something. Mm. Mm. And as, somebody as had do. to go at your feet. I know. Somebody said you had weird feet. I mean, for the love of God. I can't wait. <laughs> Your feet, by the way, are fine. Thank you. And, <laughs> like, I think there was this time, there was a story come out, I had six toes. I was like, no, I have five toes on each Ooh. foot. And then, you know, <laughs> I can't believe you got the feet up. <laughs> yeah, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Though. I feel like, you know, the trials can be really, really harsh on me. So I suppose that is making me feel a lot more nervous for the show. But in a way, doing this, surely, is, mm -hmm. is one way, is the best way to combat all of that negativity, yeah. is yeah. just to say, do you know what, I don't care about you. And that will become less. The trolley thing yeah. will become less. People mustn't win. We have to just do our own thing and well, do what I do and just live in your own head and pretend the world <laughs> exactly. isn't, it doesn't exist. And I do think sometimes it's probably people, you know, they see you and on the outside, it looks like you are living the dream. There you are, you're gorgeous. You're on holiday with... Now, it's, it's called Muggy Mike. 
thought that sounded like a weather <laughs> front or something. That sounded like some sort of weather phenomenon. But you know, you're having Misty. a you, you're having a oh, nice time. Honestly, we had the best time. I highly recommend Barbados, and I thought you highly recommend Muggy Mike. <laughs> and I do highly recommend him. He is such a lovely boy. And Why is he called Muggy Mike? Well, he got this nickname on Love Island, and I mean, I suppose it's stuck. But he's definitely not Muggy to me. So Good. that's Phew. all that matters. Well, that's what you want. You yeah. really do, and he'll be supporting you as you do this. He'll be there. He's seen it all before, of course. Oh, it's not going to come as a surprise to him. <laughs> We're suddenly being very open, Lorraine. Like, no. what, what are you saying about their relationship? I'm shocked. What most couples do. But don't this they? Is, no, but this is what's happening to us. We're all being very open. Oh, no, well, that's good. Yeah. That's what's good. I think you're fantastic. I don't think I could do it. I salute oh, you. I really you. do. And we're going to see you on Thursday. All of you. Yeah, with all our. You know what? And the feathers can't speak, but it'll be fine. It'll be marvellous. Mm. It's fantastic for <laughs> such a great cause. So, now TV, 9 o'clock on Thursday, yeah?